We know now that Derek Jeter will be in pinstripes until his 39th birthday and perhaps beyond after the shortstop agreed to a new contract with the Yankees over the weekend. Jeter will earn at least $51 million over the next three years and perhaps as much as $65 million over the next four years if an option kicks in and he hits all of his incentives. Now, Jeter will probably get his 3,000th hit sometime during the 2011 season, and the Yankees are hoping that he's a big part of a few more championship runs over the next several years. But did this all have to get so ugly? The, the Yankees' face of the franchise, his first foray into free agency, got contentious quickly and perhaps unnecessarily. And looming all over all of this is the, big, the thorny question of whether Jeter will face a position change. Will he be the Yankee shortstop at the end of this contract? We don't know the answer to that yet. Still, it was inevitable and right that the two sides got together. Jeter is an iconic Yankee, regardless of what the Yankees said at the negotiating table. And the contract makes Jeter the highest paid middle infielder in the game, even though Jeter probably didn't get all the money that he wanted. So for now, the Yankees are whole again. Jeter is back. And I'm sure at the press conference, all everyone is going to want to talk about is how they're committed to winning.